Hello, welcome to this training today. Today we're going to be learning how to upload a tour using the new PICSIP version that's going to cover helping you organize and upload your HDR images. Now, before we get started today, I wanted to show you that on my desktop, I have a tour here. It's, it's titled PICSIP Upload, and inside, we have a full tour. I have a front image, and I have some other HDR images as well that we're going to put through the system so you learn how to upload them. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is just go to my Halo account just to see here that we do have a tour in the shot queue, and that's what we're going to upload today, RK2JZJ. Let me minimize that. The first step, of course, is to put your pictures on your desktop like we've done here already. Next, we'll open PicSip. Now we'll go ahead and work through this tour. I'm going to click File and New. We're going to select the tour that's in our shot queue. That's the one we shot today. We'll click the OK button, and then we'll browse for that folder on our desktop. PICSIP upload, there it is, we'll click on it. And very simple to do, you're not going to really need to change much. The first thing we need to do is find our HDR images, and here's one. We're just going to highlight these three images, right? The good exposure, the overexposure, and the underexposure. And we're going to title this, this is the lobby, so we're simply titling it lobby. Hit the tab key. Hit the OK button. That's all there is to it. That's our first HDR image. Next, we'll take this next HDR image, drag it over here, drop it, and we'll give this a name. This is also the lobby. So we'll title that. Hit the Tab key. But we have to do Second View. We can't just leave it as lobby. But there we've got it titled Second View. We'll click the OK button, and that packages those three images into that folder. Next, we have a front shot. And you'll notice something that we do a little bit differently here on the front shot now. You're not going to be dragging this HDR front image up to the top right. You'll be dragging it over to the left like other HDR images. Let's give this front shot a title. It has to be called Front. We'll hit the Tab key, and we'll hit the OK button. It's packaged. There you have it. Let's do this side yard here. Let's drag that over here to the Virtuals and HDR image section. And let's give this a title side. We'll find it in the drop-down side yard. Hit the OK button. You've got it. Uh, virtual images are done the same as that they always have been done. We'll take this first virtual. We'll do auto-select 16 images. Drag it over to the left here. Drop it. And we've got our first virtual image beginning in its packaging stage. There we go. Let's give this a name. This is a kitchen. So we'll find it in the drop-down. Right there, we'll click the OK button. We've got our kitchen virtual done. Now, regular still images will be done the same way that you've always done them. For example, this backyard photo here, we'll drag it into the backyard section. We'll drag this kitchen into the kitchen section. We've got another uh, virtual here, it looks like, so we'll do the auto select 16, drag it over here, drop it. And we've got a kitchen. Uh, we've got an, actually a family room. Let's label that. Family room, hit the tab key, hit the OK button. OK, we're done. We've packaged everything. We've got our HDR images over here, and they go in their own folder, just like I demonstrated. And we've got some still images over here and some virtuals over here. The next step is to go to File, and we need to save what we've done. So we're going to click Save. We have to give a note here. So the note that we're going to, well, you know that these notes don't come into us. So we're just going to, we have to put in at least 10 characters there, and we'll click the Save button. Then we'll click the yes that we know that that's done. It says that we're missing images. It says that we're missing a front images. Well, really, so with the new programming that we've done, we know that we have our front image, right? We packaged it. We put it on the left. If you don't put an image up here in the top right, it will tell you that you're missing that image. As long as you know you're not, you're OK. All right, the next step, we need to export that file that we just saved. So we're going to go to File. We're going to click on Export. We're going to find the tour that we were just working with. We'll click on it, and then we'll click Export. Now, that tour is exporting now. 
and we've got it. Let's let's actually go over to our photographer back office now and upload that tour. Let's bring this up. We'll make this bigger so you can see it. Okay, now we're uploading this. So I'm going to click on bulk upload. We've already exported to our desktop. Do you want to see it? Let's look at that. Let's go to my desktop and let's look at that. It's right here. If I open this, you know, there's the tour inside RK2. It's all zipped. It's ready to go. I just wanted to show you that that is what we're uploading. So let's bring this back up. Let's click on Browse to find that folder on the desktop. And there it is right there at the very top left-hand corner. We'll just double-click that and click Upload. There you have it. That's all there is to using this new PixIP and uploading your HDR images. Uh, thanks for taking time out of this, uh, out of your schedule to watch the class. I will be doing another separate class on how to do a bulk upload with with labeling HDR images and how you package up your HDR images. So look for that class if you need it. Uh, thanks again. Have a great afternoon. Take care, everybody.